everybody. I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is what I like most about West Coast rapper Corrupt. The reason why I am making this video for all the Corrupt fans all across the world. Let's get started. I remember coming into a knowledge of Corrupt's music. I didn't know it was him. Um, I would say in 19... 94, the fall of 1994, it was uh, the song called It Ain't No Fun If the Homies Can't Have None. Uh, they was playing the radio version, and I heard him rapping, and like I said, I didn't know it was him. I just noticed, uh, you know, the word played, the, f the flow was just vicious, and I was like, okay, all right, now... When him, um, Snoop Dogg, Das, they all came together and put out the Dog Pound. That was all she wrote. Been a fan of him ever since. Still like him now. Uh, he had a lot of ups and downs. But his style. It's like, see, I always thought that he was from the West Coast originally, he wasn't. He is actually from Philadelphia. And I learned that all he wanted to do was be a rapper. Nonstop. His parents said that, his brothers and sisters even said it too, that he would write raps and his mother would take him and tear him up and throw him in the trash. And he would write more of them. Make a long story short, once he became a, a teenager, he had took one of her cars and crashed it, and she was going to discipline him with a broom. He took the broom and snatched it from her and broke it in half, and that's when she sent him to go live with his father. And his father told him, look, you got to have a job in this house in order to live here. And if you don't have it, you got to go. He wouldn't get a job. He would go and go to rap battles. He got kicked out. So he ended up moving to the West Coast, South Central, where it was infested with gangs. And that's how he, uh, he was battling them. He was putting them down. That's how he met Snoop Dogg. And they started battling each other. None stopped. They end up becoming friends and exchanging numbers. And they both made a promise to each other that whoever gets signed to a major record deal will come back, and put the other one on. And they kept their word. Then, after that, he just kept banging and banging and banging. I remember he had his little moment with Death Row. What went wrong when, they, uh, when Dr. Dre had left Death Row? You know. I always looked at that situation. It was sad because they all were, you know, they all were talented. Um, Corrupt, Daz, um, Lady of Rage, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, um, and all the other artists. I think they assigned MC Hammer because they was promoting him right before Tupac got killed. Um, and then Suge Knight. You know, I was never there, so who's to say what really happened? I don't know. All I know is it made it possible for me to be able to make this video now about what I like most about Corrupt. Um, I feel he don't get his props because, like I said, it was him that, 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 that started me to pay attention to the Dog Pound album. I'm not saying that Dez is whack because he ain't. He tight. But it was Corrupt, that, that mad flow. I, I never heard nothing like that before. I was like, damn. Who's that? Learned out it was him, you know. And I remember him and Foxy was together for a little minute, you know, and that went public that she was supposed to be kicking it with DMX and he made a song about it. You know, I felt bad for him. But in a business like that, you know, you got a lot coming at you, good and bad. You know, the more talented and bigger you are, the more, you know, crazy things come, you know, good and bad. But with all that being said, that's what I like most about him. Corrupt got that mad, mad, mad lyrical flow. 
wordplay. And you don't sound like nobody. You know, he's, he, he's so good. He started his own record label and did very well for a while. He dropped like three albums. And when his sales started to do it, he closed it and went back to strike up a deal with Suge Knight to do Death Row, you know. So with all that being said, what I like most about Corrupt, West Coast rapper, everything. He put it down. And he's still putting it down. So you can subscribe to my channel for two reasons. I make videos constantly, and I'm running the contest. Now here's how it works. You got to hit that red button now because I'm going to use previous videos, and I'm going to mention the title so you can at least be able to go to that video. And I'm going to mention a certain phrase in the video, and you got to fill in the blank because I want you to win. So hit that subscribe button right now. Those of you who like my videos, click that you do, and I appreciate it. And those of you who don't, the haters, still coming back to that Section 8 video. Y'all, you know how many messages I got? Over a thousand. You don't believe me? You can check it. Most of them is negative. Tell you that right now. However, got something to say for all you haters. You may think that you're hotter than me. That only tells me I'm cooler than you. Ow, get down. So with that being said, you can leave your comments, put in special requests for videos, and I will respond accordingly. And also, you can support the Brian Watkins channel by making a donation to my link that's in the descriptive box. Don't you go.